One of the early steps in applying to grad school is finding an advisor. Uh, you want to you want to interact with them in person. You want to see what kind of person they are. You want to try to have scientific discussion with them and see what kind of rapport you have naturally. This is critical because this person becomes like a family member to you. Basically becoming your academic parents. So it is much more important to have a supportive advisor than to wear a successful one. There are many brilliant scientists out there. Um, what you need to find is someone who you get along with. And different people get along with different people, so ask as many people as you can what that advisor is actually like, and then think about what you need in an advisor. Um, do you need someone who's hands-on? All right, so yeah, I thought we were going to have paragraph two done at one o'clock and paragraph three done at four o'clock. Do you need someone who's not? Well, no, I, I can't meet right now. Um, why don't we, catch what, how about next month? What's next month look like for you? Okay, that, that sounds great. Take care. You can figure out how to do the science often, but if you don't have an advisor who supports you in the way that you need to be supported, it's never gonna work. Um, and it's really important to talk to people to try to get the best sense of them as you can, but also know that nobody's perfect, no process is perfect, and you know, this, there's no, uh, this isn't the end. You know, if you make the wrong choice, there's always a way out. Assuming that you've already chosen somebody who's very much aligned with your research interests, is to just get a feel for how they interact with their students, postdocs, and, and fellow uh, professors in their group, if they have others in their group. Um, if you see that there's kind of a happy camaraderie between everybody, that's probably a good sign. If, if your advisor seems incredibly disconnected from the group, that might be something you might want to uh, reconsider because you may not have a lot of face time with that advisor. Talk to their graduate students, the past ones, the present ones, any of them you can get on the phone or Zoom or Skype, send a pigeon, send a raven, whatever. In addition to making sure that you like them and you can have a conversation with them without it being super awkward, <laughs> um, I would say talk to their graduate students. Talk to their graduate students, talk to their former graduate students, just in case the current ones um, can't give you an honest opinion for whatever reason to know how you want to be mentored and to find someone who matches that mentorship style. So I think more than anything, the number one thing I hear whenever people are having issues with their advisor is it's they're being too hands off. Or they're being too hands on. Did you read that email? And so finding someone who knows how to check in on you and uh, manage you in the best way that promotes your science is really important. Thanks for watching. At SIO, we're really passionate about one thing, making sure that science is accessible to everybody. You can help us in this mission in a few ways. The easiest way is to watch and share and subscribe to our videos on social media. If you're able to financially support us, we do have a Patreon page. Now, we're all volunteering our time for this, so we're not getting a paycheck out of it, but your donation can help us reach a broader audience with this message. Thanks again for watching. Take care.